Hi, I'm Yasmin, one of the Skin and Laser Brushes here in Havana Dundrum. And in this video, I'm going to go through the what you should do after receiving your laser hair removal. So, with laser hair removal, um, for our body areas such as face, underarms, bikini, navel, nipples, anywhere like that, it's once every four weeks that you would get treated. And if you're getting your legs treated, it's once every eight weeks. The reason being legs are different is because the hair cycles grow and come around that little bit slower. We want to catch the hair at an active stage, so that's why it would be every eight weeks. If we treat any sooner, we may not get the hair cycles on the legs at the point that we want to. Um, after receiving your laser hair removal, we would recommend you apply aloe vera for twice a day for three days after your treatment. You may not see any redness, feel any heat, but it is inside, so it is important that we do get it back out. So if you pop your aloe vera into the fridge, it works best from coming from the fridge and directly onto the skin itself. We'd say no swimming in any chlorinated water for three days. No exercise on the day of your treatment. Again, reason being we don't add any more heat into the area that we've already put heat into. Um, if you're getting your face done, we would recommend you anybody that's not even getting laser hair removal done to wear your SPF every single day. So one of the SPFs I would recommend is the image one. It has your titanium dioxide and zinc oxide inside. So if you put that on every single day, if you work in an office, you may not be outside, we are getting damage from like our computers, our phones, our lights that we look at every day. So this is going to protect your skin completely. If you're using or if you are getting your laser hair removal done, we want to make sure that we're keeping the cells safe as well. So if you want to try the lightning serum, it would contain Kojak. So the Kojak is going to suppress your melanocytes and it's going to protect them so it doesn't release any pigmentation. So these two products will definitely keep you safe if you're getting laser hair removal on your face and then your aloe vera as well. Um, if you have any questions at all regarding any areas and your aftercare with laser hair removal, please give us a call. We're more than happy to run through anything in more detail with you or refresh your memory if you are currently getting treatment done here. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching.